everyone and welcome to Walking Dead with Jess. As you may know, Walking Dead has just been released on the PlayStation Network for you to purchase. So I am super excited to do a Let's Play on this game because I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead. But this is going to be a different LP than many because I'm not going to be talking throughout the whole game. I'm going to chime in occasionally and explain why I answered some questions some way and why I chose to save a certain person. And that's what I really like about this game. It's unique to each person who plays it. So every LP that's going to be out there is going to be different depending on how the person answered it. So this is my rendition of the game. This is chapter one of episode one. And I plan to release these twice a week. So just like and subscribe and stay tuned. And I hope you guys enjoy. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. We got what looks like a 1091E near Beach JX 285. All cars have to keep on the lookout for 91B in the area. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from making then? Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in, with all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Now, one thing I actually really do like about this is the graphics, because they kind of look like they're in a comic book, and I haven't read the comic book, so it kind of brings the comic book feel to me. And we also find out who our main character is here, who is this convicted murderer. And they kind of did the switcheroo here, which is kind of cool, because it's the convicted instead of the cop. So let's actually find out more about this guy in the backseat of the cop car. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Sitting, sitting, sitting. 
Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what response I hit there. It sounds like I said look out, but I hit the first button I did because honestly that scared the crap out of me. Um, I'm not sure if the wreck was preventable, I'm pretty sure that's part of the story. So let's actually see what happens next to our main character. I need to drag myself out that window. God damn. Shit. Well, I actually expected this to happen sooner when we dropped his keys by his mouth. But now we have the cop coming after us and we have to fight a walker off of hopefully something resourceful.
the shooting! Hello? Anybody? 